Hello everybody, welcome to this first live VGC team builder that I decided to do. You may have seen some of the Battlespot singles live team builders I did, and I decided I think it'd be really cool to do it with VGC. So today I am joined with my friend Bridger, Bridger Snow, goes by Square 2 online. Uh, he has been on the channel before, and so I'm happy to have him back to help build this team today for you guys. So say hi Bridger. Hey, what's up everybody? Sweet. So, so you can see on the screen here. Here's Showdown, um, and we have the Pokemon that we're gonna build around, which is uh, Mega Venusaur. So, Bridger has a bit, quite a bit of history with Mega Venusaur as well. So, I thought that's why it'd be really cool to build around. So, um, just to say a little, thing, a little bit about that, Bridger. Uh, so, I used Mega Venusaur a little bit in 2015 and a whole bunch in 2016. That was like a good half of the year. I had a, a really cool Mega Venusaur crowd on team. Um, I really like how it plays. It's really bulky, but you know, puts out decent pressure, especially with all the fairies in the format. Yeah. In fact, Bridger made day two worlds with that team back in 2016, and then he had a friend that I think just missed cut at nationals the same year with the Mega Venusaur. So, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> so, and team that Bridger built. Always remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, so yeah, we're gonna start with Venusaur. Um, yeah, let's let's just go with that. So, Bridger, you talked about wanting to run a pledge team. Yeah, so I think it'd be kind of fun to you know play around with it a little bit. Venusaur is already not the most common Pokemon, but uh, I think it'd be cool to have a pledge team around it. I've always wanted to try a pledge team. So, you know, normally the the go-to there would be like a Charizard Venusaur thing where you're doing Grass Fire Pledge, but then you have to use Mega Charizard. So. To keep Mega Venusaur, I was thinking uh, Greninja. Oh yeah, especially because because Greninja is fast. That's the big thing we want. Oh, um, exactly. Because I you need you, something. right. Because if you guys don't know how pledges work, so the way let me get that up here. So the way it works when you have two Pokemon on the team that both have like like you know Venusaur with Grass Pledge, Greninja with Water Pledge. Greninja would use Water Pledge, and then Venusaur wouldn't have to wait until its turn in the turn order. It would immediately use Grass Pledge um, right after Greninja used it. So you'd only get off one attack the turn, but the power, was it doubles, right? Um, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, the power doubles, and then um, it also creates an effect, which is really cool, on the opposing side of the field. So that's, that's how that works. And so you have like a fast Pokemon like Greninja, and then a slow Pokemon. So that's, you know, because you want that faster Pokemon using the pledge, so the slower Pokemon uses it immediately uh, after it. Right. So, yeah, that's why Greninja is really cool. So, anyways, so we got Venusaur and Greninja, both Grass and Water Pledge. Uh, then, uh, so another reason to use Greninja here is that one of Venusaur's biggest weaknesses is Mega Salamence. Oh, yeah. And Greninja gets Ice Beam, so that's the next thing I want to put on it. Just blow um, up the Salamence and Landorus right. for that matter. Not you know, Water Pledge hits it hard, but Ice Beam just but Ice Beam will it. just nuke it. Yeah. In fact, I think I mean, you might have Life Orb, but I think Life Orb Greninja Oko's AV like a Soul Vest Landorus. You don't even need Life Orb. The oh, Ice really? Beam will just the, oh, because of the stab, it. huh? Right, because Protean's so good. Yeah, Protean's really good. In fact, let's add that right there. Yeah, make sure it's got that Torrent Snow. Battle Bond. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, Battle Bond is banned in VGC, unfortunately. Uh, so. Billy doesn't matter on Venusaur, so we're not going to use Cool. Alright, go on, sorry. Um, so with Greninja, I think I want to have a Focus Sash. I don't okay. think we'll need Life Orb, and that's really uh, imperative against Tapu Koko mostly, that can outspeed and kill you. Yeah. That's right, because in past formats, Greninja usually is outspeeding everything, but now with Coco is such a prominent Pokemon, that's, that's a big that's thing. Okay, so we got Ice Beam, Focus Sash, Water Pledge. Uh, Venusaur, um, I know we want Sludge Bomb, that's that's kind of a given. Oh yeah, Sludge Bomb, uh, we're going to need Grass Pledge because we're doing Pledges. Right, so I know um, base 80, so that's nice. We don't need another Grass move. It'd be either energy ball or giga drain, which are yeah, they're in that the same, same ballpark. Yeah, um, almost definitely want protect. Yeah, protect on Venusaur is pretty important, especially because Venusaur is what base eighty, not the fastest Pokemon. Not the no, slowest. not really. Um, and then 
the last spot is kind of variable. Yeah. I was thinking like Leech Seed, but there's also other options like Sleep Powder or Synthesis. Yeah, so there's there's a few options for sure. Um, Outrage, pretty solid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and Swords Dance. But... Oh man, you know that Swords Dance Venusaur. Yeah, Swords Dance EQ. Watch out! <laughs> Watch out, Metagross. Probably do a solid forty percent at plus two. Oh geez, speaking of Metagross, <laughs> that is uh, next to Salamence. That's probably one of Venusaur's next biggest fears. Yes. So we probably want a Fire type because that's good against Metagross and it gives us a cool Fire Water Grass core. Yeah, kind of Water Grass. I mean, Greninja is a Water type, but it's also a Ice type, Dark type, Grass yeah, type, Yeah, right. It's, it's whatever type. type it was. Yeah, Fighting type. It's Greninja doesn't really have a type. It's just does a lot of a lot of good stuff. So Fire type. Did you say which Pokemon? Uh, no. But you know, I was kind of looking at Incineroar. Uh. He's a uh, Obviously, like the king of the game right now, and works well. Gives us intimidate. It's really good, mm -hmm. and uh, he is a starter. So if we want to get crazy, we could give him fire pledge too. Yeah. Ooh, no. Um. Yeah, I, I like that too. And I think when using Venusaur, I think Incineroar, especially now that it has intimidate, which we're gonna use, is is pretty good with Venusaur. Like, I mean, Incineroar is just really good in general, but with Venusaur especially, I like. They right, just, like they just even if well. even if you're uh, not going for the meme with the pledges, like yeah. I think Incineroar is still the way to go. Absolutely, and then like you know, and even their secondary typings cover each other well because Venusaur resists fighting, and Incineroar is weak to fighting. So I really like that. Okay, so oh, and then Venusaur is weak to Psychic, but Incineroar is immune to Psychic, so they have really good switch synergy with each right, other. Right, just between the two of them. And so that's really, you know, that's really important team building is to think about that stuff. Okay, so we have Incineroar. So again, Fire Pledge. Uh, yeah. Um, probably not going to go like special Incineroar. Probably just be like a normal Incineroar that happens to have Fire Pledge. Yeah, I'm going to put that there because I think we want Flare Blitz still. Like Flare Blitz is just... Yeah, absolutely. Like Flare Blitz uh, knockoff. Knockoff, yeah, or, yeah. Then Fake Out. Like pretty, pretty standard. Because, you know, Flare Blitz, Knock Off, Fake Out, very... You know, those are the common moves on Incineroar. And then this last slot's pretty up in the air for what it can be. And we'll just... Because yeah. fi Fire Pledge, I don't know how much we'll use it, but it's still, it still... It, it forms a pretty... You know, it just it fully forms the Pledge mode. When most teams may have just, like, two Pledges, we're going to go with all three. Because who knows, maybe we'll get to be cheeky and run, like, Greninja and Incineroar with the Fire Water Pledge. Oh my god, dude. So that so fire water pledge gives everything uh, serene grace, right? Doubles the probability of stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Greninja gets rock slide. What if we oh. did that? I think it does. Ooh, <laughs> that's that's pretty dirty. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so yeah, so the idea there is, um, yeah, like I said, the the, the pledges have certain effects, and was it the effect is based on the pledge that's super effective to the other pledge being used, right? Um, so that's what type it is, but oh, okay. e the pledge, each each combo of types does a certain one. So grass and water does uh, it creates a swamp, so it makes it so your opponent's Pokemon move at one quarter of the speed they would normally move. Oh, it's so a it's quarter. Like, I thought it was half. Yeah. It's like no, the old, it's, it's old paralysis. Exactly. Dang, it's like that's the old paralysis. broken. Yeah, it's nuts. And what is it? And How many turns is it? Five. Oh, sweet. Um, including the turn you use it, so it's. Basically yeah, four. four. It's yeah, kind of like, like trick, trick room. room. Yeah. Um. Okay, and then I know I know fire grass creates a, a burn. Uh, yeah, it's like burn. It doesn't drop their attack. Yeah, it but just does the residual it, damage. It does a sixteenth of both opposing Pokemon's yeah. HP. Um, ex unless they're fire type, then it doesn't. Affect okay. Them. And then fire water gives the serene grace effect. Exactly. And then yeah. Greninja being as fast as it is, is now just work firing off. You know, rock slides that each have a 60% chance to flinch. Oh man, oh that's gross. That's dirty. Okay, cool. Let's do I hope we pull that off and just like flinch someone into a rage quit or something. Not that oh, I dude, condone please. rage quitting. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it for the meme. Yeah, I love it. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know, I don't have my Greninja quite yet. So. Kind of, you'll see. We're not even doing EV spreads yet. We're just kind of hashing out the Pokemon and some of the moves, 
and as we go, as the team progresses, that's when we'll start picking some of the more like specific things. Because you know every move and item needs to be team specific. So we'll come back to a few of right. these things. All right. So uh, let's so see. I think since the main the main thing we're going to be using is the Greninja and Venusaur, which has that swamp effect, which you know is speed control. I, I want some stuff that can also come in and like be heavy hitters, take advantage of the speed drop the opponent has, and just kind of blow stuff up. So that's that's yeah. that's what I'm thinking. So we, I think we want to make sure we have some heavy hitters because you know Incineroar and Venusaur have good bulk and they have pretty decent attacking stats, but they're not like they're not super threatening. They're not going to like just destroy stuff. And right. Gr Greninja kind of can because of Protean, but still, even its attacking stats aren't huge. Yeah, we got to find ourselves a nice big like nuke button. Yeah. So, normally that's kind of the spot a Mega Pokemon would be for, but we've got Venusaur already. Right. Um, my next option is usually like a, a Weather Pokemon or a Tapu. So... Yeah, the Tapu is really absurd. I think uh, Feeny and Bulu feel a little bit wrong to me. They're more defensive and we're looking for something more off. I mean, Bulu's pretty powerful, but we already have a Grass type. Yeah. Um, so in my eyes, it's either Coco or Lele. Yeah, and so Lele is definitely a lot stronger because it has a higher special attack. Um, what I kind of like about Lele is we can make it bulkier than Coco, and we're going to have the speed control. It's not like we need the speed Coco offers. Yeah, that's true. And Shattered, Shattered Psyche in Psychic Train is just... <laughs> oh, it's it's ridiculous. It's absurd. I don't know what they were thinking, but that 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 is absurd. Okay. So, I think Tapu Lele seems yeah. pretty obvious. I play, okay, another thing too, I have yet to use Tapu Lele on the channel. I know Matt has used it quite a bit, but I have yet to use Tapu Lele on the channel. I haven't even used... I haven't actually used Tapu Lele in VGC since like my very first PC of the 2017 format. And ever since then, it's either been Finny or Coco. So, yeah. personally, I want to use Lele, because I haven't used Lele yet. Dude, let's do it. It's, All right. it's this strong. This is going to be... This 100% is like you know, I don't, I don't really know many other ways to run Lele. No, dude, Psychium is my favorite item on Lele. That's the only yeah, thing I've ever used. With Psywave. Wait. <laughs> yeah, Psywave, let's do it. Yeah. No, nah, dude, I mean, Psychic like, and Moonblast, those are just staple, obvious. Uh, yeah. Protect, of course. Yeah, uh, I know Taunt's really common on Lele. Taunt is cool. Um, usually that's if you're worried about Trick Room. Yeah. Right? We've got a, a, a decently bulky core. I mean, we could like we could just leave that spot open. Um, yeah, we'll come back to that one. If we can decide if if we want to deal with Trick Room, then we can put Taunt on there. Otherwise, uh, one of my favorites is Ally Switch, but that's a, yeah, a controversial the, topic. Yeah, we have <laughs> the Z Ally Switch, which boosts its speed plus two stages, right. uh, which is then now it's all speeding like a stuff. So it's kind of a bit of a setup move too. Yeah, it's it's all it's right. cool. We'll come back to that. But I like Switch. Since we're like having fun. Okay, so we've got our speed control, we've got our nuke to take advantage of it, we've got Incineroar to help set up whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely the fake out and psychic train kind of don't mesh super well, but yeah, you know um, what? It's not the biggest deal. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I've seen Lele and Incineroar on the same team all the time. So. Right. Um. So now I'm thinking. We still are kind of weak to Metagross, because yeah. Tupple Lele just adds to that a lot. Yeah, Lele um, can't really do anything to it. Um, right now, Greninja, I mean, Greninja can't do anything with what we have. Yeah, I mean, we could like give it Dark Pulse, but I don't even think that kills Metagross. Yeah, like, not that probably does like 60%. Um, and I know sad. if we're Leech Seed Mega Venusaur, then if it doesn't have Zen Headbutt, then it has a chance, but otherwise... Venusaur is not the best answer to it. That's true. I mean, I guess a lot of them don't even have Zen Headbutt unless they're with Lele. So yeah, and even Venusaur even then, they'll, they could still run Ice Punch, or not? Yeah, they could still run Ice Punch over Zen Headbutt. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, but so um, and, so in, in Cinder, Incineroar obviously is decent against Metagross. The problem is, you know, it's slow, and Stomping Tantrum still does a lot to Incineroar if you don't right. intimidate it, which is hard to intimidate early. You have to intimidate it after it Mega Evolves. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, um, we need to pull up, oh, I don't think the damage calculator works very well with pledges, but I want to check right now and see if, if we lead Greninja in Cinderor, if Oh, the fire, do... the fire pledge. Oh, but 
that that would make a water pledge if if we do those two together. It's Grenade. the type of his oh, water. Oh yeah, we'd have to go incinerate or Venusaur, huh? Yeah. Oh darn. That was... Well, look that up. Look up what water pledge on Greninja would do. Okay. I mean, because so look the up other the regular, problem... and then it double. I think it's the power doubles. Yeah, it does. the The other problem with that is that, um. It'll, it'll use Incineroar's special attack set, because it uses the special attack set of the slow. Oh, level. that's right, because it's special. Dang it. So, okay. yeah, um, we, that's, that's let's, not an answer. Let's add, a, let's, let's add a Pokemon to deal with Metagross. Metagross is... Yeah, like, Metagross I mean, we, we it's it's okay, but it's still kind of scary. Yeah, um, so we need... Probably, so, like, a ghost type. Yeah, I know Aegislash is generally pretty good against Metagross, because, you know, Shadow Ball threatens it. It also deals with Lele, and Lele's next to Metagross a lot. That's true. I mean, um, they can they can try to double into it and kill it. Yeah, but Age Slash is a pretty good answer. It is. Like, if if we have something next to Age Slash that outspeeds at least the Lele and can like really threaten the Lele, then I it's it's then Age Slash works really well. But you know, Age Slash by itself, like I said, it's like a Zen Headbutt or a Stomping Tantrum plus a freaking Shattered Psyche probably Okos. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Okay, okay, but, so hear me out. So, oh, yeah. Aegislash is good as long as we can outspeed and kill the Lele, right? Yeah. So, what if we add Aegislash, and we give Greninja Gunk Shot? Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah, because Gunk Shot, Gunk Shot's really, really strong. I'm, I'm pretty sure Gunk Shot kills uh, Lele. Let, yeah, me, let me look it up real fast. That. Like, 4 HP. I know 4 HP Lele is the most common. Um, Let's see. But... The bulky lele can still life support. So, okay, even if we don't invest in attack at all, if we're just zero attack, timid Greninja, okay. gunk shot, always one shots top of lele. That's four HP as long as it hits, which is you know the tough part. Yeah, so it's eighty percent chance. <laughs> right, but we don't even need investment to do it. So, mm, I think that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, run the gunk shot. Not the most like, reliable, but still still threatens if anything it puts the pressure on it also can, will put the pressure on metagross just seeing a greninja because they still have to fear a dark move yeah i mean they absolutely do and i feel yeah. like most people don't know that calc they might fear greninja one-shotting it yeah exactly okay, okay. so there's gunk shot so, what is need, what is like slash. a what does like a full physical greninja do with gunk shot to top of Lele? Yeah. We went like Jolly, uh, axe attack. Dude, that sounds spicy. Um, so, 252 attack, gunk shot, does 143.8% minimum to, to a 4, 4 HP. HP Lele. So what's a max, so, like, HP, max defense Lele? Just, just for the, the idea of it. Yeah, not that we'd actually see that. Um, even then, you still have a 31% chance to KO max HP, max defense top lane. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, we could do that. We have Rock Slide too, like, I'm yeah, fine with going physical. Cause honestly, yeah, and we could run Naive Nature, just to make sure Water oh, Pledge yeah. still Definitely. doing damage. Okay. And, uh, the Ice Beam is mostly just for Landorus and Salamence, Salamence yeah. and you don't need any investment to kill them. No. <laughs> Water pledge. I mean, it's mostly just pledge thing. Yeah, I so, mean, it's no, honestly I, I there. like it. Okay, we'll try. We'll go like naive, and we can run like at least enough. At least summon. Like, we we can mix it up, kind of see. But yeah, honestly, it's just like especially like, having those stronger rock slides. That's always that's always fun. Do so, damage yeah. and flinch. Yeah, and like make sure we kill Charizards and stuff. Yeah, that would be a good important kill. Okay, so and you're saying H slash. Yeah, I think Age Slash is okay. real helpful against uh, yeah. the Gross. And it helps against other Lele next to the Gross. Yeah, and uh, what's it called? Uh, Kartana is yes. surprisingly weak to Age Slash. Yes, it is. Like, unless Age Slash has like, knockoff, but even then, it's not doing much. Yeah. And your Shadow Ball uh, will just cleanly kill yeah, Kartana. Shadow Ball. Actually, King Shield um, is by far the most important. Then Shadow Ball. Uh, I'm a huge proponent of substitute yeah, Aegislash. Yeah, and also the fact that we already have a Z move on Lele, like Aegislash likes a Z move, but it, personally, like Z move is strong and all, but lefty sub lefty's Aegislash is one of my, it's still one of my like favorite Pokemon. I haven't used it a ton, but the idea of it, I really like. 
yeah, it's I love it. Especially when you can like maintain your shield form for a turn of substitute. Right. When your opponent's trying to try to okay. bait you into blade form or something. Okay, so and then the, the third move, there's there's a number of options. There's flash cannon, obviously, if white guard, shadow snake, I don't know, there's toxic. Toxic age slash is good. But so that well we can worry about that. Yeah, well, we'll see as we get into it a little more yeah. what kind of coverage or stuff we need on that. Yeah, okay. So the last Pokemon. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just it's just like now trying to figure out what what we're a little bit weak to. I mean, obviously, I mean, when team building, you have to play with the team to kind of find out. And I guess right. I should say this, as we play with the team, because we're, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this team. We're gonna play with it on battle spot on training battles, and as we play, we will probably start making a little bit of change. We'll change it. We'll tweak the team as we go, because you're never gonna you're not gonna build the perfect team just sitting here for 30 minutes. You have to play with it, and that's what we're gonna end up doing. We're gonna play with it, and we'll probably make tweaks as we go. So so for now, we're just this is all like theoretical, but. Yeah, definitely. Like, and in my eyes, like the sixth Pokemon almost always ends up changing a bunch. I, it's yeah. rare that I find a perfect all six. I love them instantly. Yeah. So, um, right now I'm thinking we only have the one form of speed control. Yeah. Uh, we, we're just with the Grass Water Pledge, and that requires a specific combination of two Pokemon. Right. So, it'd probably be good to have something with you know like. Tailwind or maybe Trick Room or something. Yeah. Um, I would want it to be to kind of fit the theme. We've got like this bulky offense going on. Yeah, um, we really do. And then, poke other Steel types like so. Heatran's kind of get more popular. Bisharp's get more popular. And then Cartana's like shot up usage. So yeah, just amazing. looking at it, Steel types are still a little. Like steel types that aren't weak to ghost, for instance, are still a little shaky to me. That's um, true. That's true. Like age slash helps against Metagross, but it definitely doesn't help against Heatran. Yeah, no. And like Incineroar's not gonna do anything to Heatran besides knock off his Shukaberry. You know, protect it from that ground move we don't have. Because right. you can't Fire Blitz it. Um, I guess Greninja deals helps against Heatran, but my thing it's with Gren greatest. my thing with Greninja is it's good for about one turn, two turns, because we have Focus Sash. Yeah. And, you know, they have that Heatran sitting in the back that comes in and then you're just sort of dead. So. Um, Alright. So maybe maybe we don't need something that, you know, like one shots Heatran, but yeah. something that can ease, at least go, like, neck to neck with it while yeah. providing some speed control. Yeah, exactly. And then, um. I always think about the rain matchup, too. Like, just when we run into a rain team, what are we going to do? Mm. So, like, if, if say. Greninja Venusaur is not a good lead because it obviously Incineroar is not a good lead. Um, I don't know how many of our Pokemon take like a Hydro Vortex besides um, Venusaur. I mean, Venusaur obviously takes yeah, it. I'm sure Aegislash does. Yeah, but the problem with Venusaur is there's a Pelipper there. It's just, yeah, oh god. It Pelipper. blows it away. It never comes back. Okay. Um, so, okay, what if we have something uh, that's gonna be able to put the pain on Pelipper? So that Venusaur can still carry the, the rain matchup, and uh, then we need it to also deal with Heatran. It's kind of it's pretty specific. It is. So I I, I don't want to specifically deal with rain. It's just always in the back of my mind because it's just one of those teams you find on ladder that just shows up and you're like, oh crap. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Coin flips. No. Um, rain. I'm not saying rain's bad. It's just like it's it can be hard to deal with when you're not just prepared for it. Um, so I'm looking through just some of the more common Pokemon on Battle Spot right now. Yeah. I was thinking, like... A couple like, of things... Oh, uh, what were you thinking? I was thinking, so... I know Zapdos and Lele go really well together. Zapdos has the speed control. It's got the bulk, plus the natural offensive stats. Um, having another like, a ground immunity, I like the idea of, because we have two ground weaknesses. Um, like I say, Greninja's not, like... You can't always rely on Greninja to deal with something like Land Pierce. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and then, and like I said, Zapdos and Lele pair really well together. Especially like a Psychic Seed Zapdos. I always like that combo. And it's, it's pretty, it, it can be a pretty offensive combo as well. Okay, yeah, I like that. Um, that outspeeds Pelipper. 
Yeah, it outspeeds yeah. Pelipper. Can it take a Hydro Vortex from a Ludicolo? At plus I guess? one. At plus with the with the Psychic Seed, it can. So and yeah. then like as far as the Steel types, it's really good against Cartana also because Cartana can't do much to it. And like we don't yeah. even we don't even need Heat Wave unless it's like an Assault Vest Cartana Thunderbolt to it KOs it. Yeah, I'm sure. And, and Heatran, like, I mean, it's not extremely stellar against Heatran, but with a Psychic Seed, then you're almost definitely going to yeah. win that matchup. Plus, plus we have the recovery in Roost. We can we can beat Heatran with Roost recovery. Okay, if, I like that, and yeah. Like, and, like, if it came down to a one-on-one, -on -one, for instance, so... Yeah, Zapdos fits that. It's got Although... bulky offense, it's got recovery, it's got Tailwind. Yeah, there might be some mind games with Earth Power and Roost, but... Oh, that's, that's true. That's that takes some ballsy reads. I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, and then like we'll still take an Earth Power with the uh, Psychic Seed boost. Yeah, so. if we can, yeah, if we can just get that boost and maintain it. So, and then when I think of Bisharp, it's it's whatever. Thunderbolt yeah, I think probably Z Zapdos is fine against Bisharp. Yeah, I like Zapdos. I'm a fan of Zapdos. Okay, um, yeah, let's go Psychic Seed. I also like Psychic Seed because we can go a little bit more offensive if we want. Yeah, I like that. Um, well, I always run modest, I'm just gonna change that now. Yeah, I like Zapdos. Okay, cool. Um, Tailwind and Roost for sure. Yeah, and Thunderbolt, obviously. You yeah. Are the last move is pretty up in the air. Like, Heat Wave, HP Ice are the two main ones. Yeah, um. That one's really debatable. Yeah, I or, think. Or Roar. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Roar, yeah, if we... I, I feel like Trick Room still isn't really a big deal. Yeah, and... Ooh, what is Snorlax? Ooh. Um... Well, I'm, okay, we won't worry about... I'm not gonna worry... Sp I'm, maybe if we run Toxic somewhere. I don't know. Snorlax uh, is, is actually kind of weird, because... We don't have... Just... Like, Lele can hit do a lot of damage to it, but outside of that... Yeah, we we do need a Snorlax answer. Maybe it is Roar. Okay, so Roar Roar is definitely a consideration. Um, it's also where Taunt's useful. Like a sub toxic Aegislash is pretty good against Snorlax. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you can get you you just gotta like. You so got, I guess you you, you got, toxic them while they belly drum, and then you just sub King's Shield indefinitely. Yeah, and not every Snorlax has high horsepower. That's true. So we will need. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna need some tech moves for Snorlax, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I I like the idea of Toxic Age Slash. That's cool. So, um, and I mean, knock knock off is really good against it because that stops its recovery. If we can get. Oh yeah, knock off is great. Um, we can flinch it to death. That's always a very good nice strategy. <laughs> it's uh, uh, this it's plan. This thing won't work because we can't leave it solid because it just kills people. No, well. not against Billy Drum. So and then. And then with Lele, if we can get a little bit of chip on it, it's Shattered Psyche takes it out. Yeah. So yeah, we have yeah. we have tools, but I think Starlight City, one of those things, we're not going to have like one big answer for it. We're going to have to have a bunch of little things, because they're all going to be really situational, so we want to make sure we have enough ways to cover mo most situations for Snorlax. I agree. So... So maybe Ro uh, Roar, uh, maybe Toxic. Um, Age slash? Yeah. And then maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't maybe think Sacred Roar. Sword would be enough. Yeah, I doubt it. If we were like a Life Orb Age slash, maybe. But I, I, I don't know if I'd want Sacred Sword anyway. I don't know what else Sacred Sword is going to hit. Uh, it hits Incineroar. But so does Greninja. Lele is pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, Sacred Sword's. I, I would cons maybe consider Sacred Sword. Uh, I mean, I just it's don't just, think it does enough to Snorlax. It's just really weak without something like Life Orb. Right. Like, I, I, like, yeah, like, if we're just talking about Snorlax, Sacred Sword is not like, the best. It'd be better for the likes of Tyranitar. Or, uh, even, not even Kartana, but, like, yeah, Tyranitar mainly, and Incineroar. It hits Incineroar for a little bit more than anything else would. Yeah, I think, I think I like Toxic. I think maybe let's just, let's try Toxic uh, on each slash. Yeah. And then, so we could, and then we could run Leech Seed on Venusaur, and then we have like this two Pokemon that can just stall. Yeah, yeah, way. and even Zapdos can kind of take yeah. part of it. Yeah, because like one can set, like Aegislash can set up Toxic for Zapdos later. In fact, 
uh, my world team and like my post world team in 2017, I had Toxic on Arcanine, but mm -hmm. even though Arcanine didn't have like a recovery outside of its Eye and Papa Berry, um, I also had you know I had I had recycled Snorlax and recover P2, and there were some games where I you know I, I set up a Toxic, and then even when Arcanine went down, you know my recover P2 could come in and just start stalling. So it's like, I'm yeah. set, it's like I'm setting up Toxic for other Pokemon on the team. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so we'll go Toxic. Try Toxic. And I think sub, yeah, sub Toxic. I think Wolf used that on his regionals winning team this year. That big Charizard X team. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I think he was Sub Toxic. Dude, all right, I'm pretty good. sure. Okay, so we still need to make spreads for pretty much everything. Yeah. And these will all be besides a couple moves. Yeah, spreads should be pretty simple. Like when when team building it's I I think it's best to just start with simple spreads. Um because like I said we're gonna tweak the team as we go and just start simple and go from there. Like there might be a few calcs we specifically want to deal with. Like for like in Cineroar I have a pretty complex spread that's pretty standard that we can use. Yeah the, I'm Got a similar thing. Um, we might have to make a good one for Venusaur. Yeah, Venusaur is weird. I always think these like really bulky Pokemon are harder because there's yeah, there's more to it. Like Greninja Grin is easy, max speed, and then I guess we could go like max attack. Not yeah, I'm fine with Actually, that. Actually, I'll go forward and then the special attack. So bam. yeah, absolutely. So now it hits on both sides pretty hard. Bam, yeah, easy. Like it. See, that's that's. Uh, then some of the others are a little will be a little tricky. Because especially when it's running a bulky team. So yeah, let's let's run through these a little. Uh, All right. Sword, let's... Did, did you want to go Leech Seed? I think so. Okay. I like Leech Seed. Let's we'll start with Leech Seed. Uh, um, I think max HP for sure. Yeah, yeah. Max okay, HP, so. easy. Then, um, I'm pretty sure you don't need any special attack to get a top of Cocoa with Sludge Bomb. Okay. Double check though. Yeah, check that. And probably their Calm or Bold nature. So you just run. A... I mean, we could run an offensive. Good. I, I, I'd rather be bulky though, that's just how it plays. Yeah, that's good. Um, so yeah, you don't need any special attack investment at all to kill Tapu Koko. How much is it? What's the minimum it does, percentage-wise? Um, so with no investment, it does 104% minimum. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. So uh... that should also two-shot all of the other... T I mean, it'll destroy Bulu, but it should oh, yeah. two-shot Feeny and Lele. Okay. How much does it do to 4 HP Lele? Uh, let's check. It does 73 to 87 percent. Okay, so we're probably too AK. Yeah, I don't think we can put enough to one shot it. Uh, do, just made. really quick, don't go ahead and double check the 252 HP 50. Um, okay, so one thing I did just try out: 252 special attack modest Venusaur does one shot for HP Tapu Lele every time. But Problem I is... mean. They're gonna kill you first. <laughs> yeah, really is like, oh, I'm faster. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. So it's probably not worth it for that, but yeah, no. that is a merit for uh, offensive Venusaur. Let's see. Against Top of Feeny, if I have four special attack, not honest, then I do 55 to 65 percent. That's 252 HP. Uh, yeah, that's just 252 HP. Feeny. So it has a little bit of special attack. Okay, yeah, I don't. We probably don't really need much more than four. Yeah, if they've uh, got like 88 special defense, I think is on the higher end that Feeny normally yeah. runs. Then we still always do shot yeah. it. Yeah, uh, 100% want at least four speed EVs because then under Tailwind we outspeed Tapu Koko, whereas with uh, with yeah. no with no EVs we speed tie it under Tailwind. So okay, that definitely that guarantees that at least. I mean, we could also try and we could try and outspeed like Scarf Lando under Tailwind if we wanted, but that takes 60 EVs. I don't know how useful that is. And that's adamant Scarf Lando. Um, I mean, I feel like Landorus isn't that big of a threat. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't think that's like that necessary. Like it's it's we really have, bad have, against Venusaur. Yeah, we have Greninja. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything to Venusaur. And if we run, if we end up running HPS on Zapdos, then that's plenty. Yeah, or, if I don't, run, or if you run a fast Lele. So. Yeah, I don't think it's worth yet. Like, I'd rather look at some defensive stuff. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, so... 
Hmm. There's, I can't think of anything super specific in this metagame that, like, I want to make sure I want, I would survive. Maybe a, a Gardevoir Psychic? Uh, yeah, look that up. So... The one down, uh, the only thing about that is, if we're giving Gardevoir Psychic terrain, like, there's probably no way we're living that. Right, right. So, go, um, yeah, let's look outside of terrain. Gardevoir teams don't have their own melee anyways. Unless they're crazy. Unless yeah. they love those psychic, mono-psychic fairy team. <laughs> Get, like, what, Gardevoir, Gardevoir and Lele and, and, like, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime? Mime Junior, <laughs> Curlia, and Ralts. I think, oh, it's, it's I think that's uh, all the best team. I think that's all six fairy, psychic fairy types. Like, <laughs> all right. Uh, Oh uh, guys, yeah. ne next team builder is probably gonna be with Matthew Greaves. Get ready for Mono Psychic Fairy. Oh jeez. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, back to the the calc. To live a modest Gardevoir Psychic, we need a hundred special defense EVs. Uh, is that a calm nature? Uh, no, no. Okay, cool. What's, and that that's living it uh, fifteen out of sixteen times. Okay, I I that's usually what I go for at, um, at worst. Or if I get that, I'm satisfied. Right. Um. Was that like a 252? Oh uh, yeah, that's a max modest card war. Okay, not that that's super common, but uh, what about size shock? What does that do? Um, if we have no defense investment, it does 96% max. Okay, and we'll cover so, that easy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, there's that. Um, I guess Salamence Hyper Voice. I would look at that with the hundred, with the hundred special defense EVs. Okay, so. Salamence Hyper Voice, if they're 252 special attack, then it does 54 to 65%. Uh, um, that one we might just have to bite the bullet on. I don't I don't think it's worth trying to yeah. make it a 3 hit. I, I've tried EVing to survive Salamence stuff, and it's just never really worth it. Yeah, like, I'm not even, I don't even want to look at double edge. That's just. Nope. Not gonna try. Because they um, cause yeah, Psychic and Flying are its only weaknesses, because Thick Fat takes away the Fire and Ice weakness. Right, so, yeah. uh, psychic types, I mean, mostly we have Metagross and Tapu Lele. And, yeah, and Lele just loses. Right, Lele's just gonna destroy it, and Unless we get Metagross, speaking. yeah, that's but true. Then, that uh, Metagross sense. is only gonna run Zen Headbutt if they have a Tapu Lele, so... Yeah, and we're... Surviving that is Unless not... it's like a Finny, I mean, what what is the Zen Headbutt calc, like, outside of, um, Psychic Train? Oh, uh, let's look. Just because I I have seen um, Metagross teams run Zen Headbutt without Tapu Lele, so okay. Like okay, I think so when I played Riley Factor uh, at the midseason after so like regionals, he had that. He had like Coco, but he still had Zen Headbutt. That's weird. But I I think yeah, it's because it, it was a rain team. He didn't need Ice Punch. So okay, I'm looking at the calc. Um, Zen Headbutt from Mega Metagross only KOs. 25% of the time, if we have no defense, we're gonna want defense anyway, so yeah. let's make All that right. a benchmark. Okay, so that's like. All we need is. What? 20 to make it a 15 out of 16? Yeah, and we haven't even set a nature yet either. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm not worried about that. We're gonna, we're gonna live that. Um, well. Oh, oh, uh, I want to look at Pelipper Hurricane. Oh, yeah. Let's look at that. That's a, That's a big one. Yeah. Because Venusaur is really good at dealing with both Swampert and Ludicolo, if we can deal with okay, the so, bird. Okay, so, the good news is 252 Modest Pelipper does 83% maximum to our current spread. Okay. So, we can take it. I mean, All right. not, not, we don't love it, but we can take it. Yeah. And like, I don't know if... What is Ice Beam plus Hurricane? Ice Beam from Ludicolo plus Hurricane. Uh, that'll definitely kill. You think so? See, I'll, I wonder I'll, if I'll we look could it up live there. that. So, Ludicolo Ice Beam I don't... does 23% max? Okay. Oh, yeah, if we went calm, I bet we could live that if we need to. I bet you're right. Let's see. Let me type it in. So, calm, then... So, Ice Beam is gonna do... 40 damage, just remember 40 damage. 40, got it. That's maximum? Yep, that's maximum. Okay, 40 Then if damage. I go back to Pelipper... Then the Hurricane does 144. 
So that means we need to have 184 HP, and we do. We have 187. So yeah, we could just do that, and then dump the rest into defense. Um, I might want to look at special attack. Oh, look at how much um, Sludge Bomb does to 4 HP Ludicolo. Oh, yeah. Sludge Bomb, if we have 4 special attack, then it does 78 to 93%. Okay. If I take a lot to Oko. Yeah, I don't think we have enough of yeah, I don't to do that. It. Um, okay. That's surprising, I thought it would just kill it. But, I mean, Venusaur's not that powerful. Yeah. So... Is there anything that we want to be one-shotting with our Grass Water Pledge? Uh, check Swamper and Gast... I mean, Gastrodon, I expect Glass Pledge yeah. to get KO. Swamper, yeah, and, and Swamper. Swamper. It'll kill Swamper. Okay. Why don't we just dump the rest into defense? And we can kind of, as we play, we can kind of see what we need. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily think we need that much defense, but I don't really know what else to do. Okay, sure, I'm down. Okay, so let's makes it easy. Let's do that, and as we play, we'll we'll start seeing what we'll, if we start missing some KOs that we think we really want to hit, we could fix that. Yeah, so, sounds good. Okay, Greninja, pretty easy. Incineroar. I I'm just gonna run this kind of regular. I this is Incineroar I've been using. Uh, I don't. Do we want Assault Vest or Barry? I don't oh, know. good I, question. I don't know if it really matters. Um, I usually run Barry, but I mean, I this is one I could see using Assault Vest. I know, I prefer Barry. Assault Vest lets us run more like investment into attack. Uh, I think we're both used to using Barry. Let's just okay, let's yeah, just stick I'll with go that. Barry. So this is what I've been using when I use it. This. So that outspeeds Metagross and Tailwind, uh, survives Coco's Gigavolt Havoc in Electric Terrain, and I think Metagross at minus one Stompy Tantrum is like a less than a five percent chance to hit KO. So okay, this yeah. is this is oh, what I've been like using, that. and this is the this is the Incineroar that's in my Gardevoir team analysis. So minus the Fire Pledge part, <laughs> right? <laughs> that was protect. Although U-turn, I recommend U-turn on that set. Okay, so we'll do that. Lele, either fat, like our team's pretty slow. I We could run a fast Lele if we really want to. Um, or yeah. we could go bulky. I mean, or we, with the speed control, we can also go bulky. Like, I, I'm i open to either. Mm, I, I personally think that fast would work better on this team okay. for two things specifically. I want to outspeed Landris and I want to outspeed Charizard. Ooh, yeah, because unless it's um, a timid Charizard. Yeah, it could be a timid Charizard, but, but I don't think that's common enough. No, and if usually if they're timid, they're just like outspeeding land, like Jolly Landers or something, which we would outspeed. Yeah, I think I think just like max speed, max special attack, timid. I'm good with that. It's I mean it's really simple and yeah, kind of and uninspiring. Then, and then that way we're not reliant on speed control because we like I said we don't have a ton of fast stuff, so just having at least another fast Pokemon because 95 is pretty quick, base 95 at max timid max speed is pretty quick. Um, obviously not, not like Gordon just 122 base speed, but in a, this yeah. format it outspeeds a lot of things, and we just put on a it ton does. of pressure with Shattered Psyche. Yep. Um, so we still need to decide its fourth move. Yeah, Taunt or Alley Switch. Um, we were talking a bunch about uh, Snorlax earlier. I kind of like Taunt. Yeah, like I, I really like the Alley Switch idea because I love Z Alley Switch. I know yeah. most people hate Ally Switch, but Z Ally Switch is super cool because you're like the setup. But yeah, I taunt to stop other setup. I think is really valuable. I think uh, I think if we're gonna go fast, I like taunt. Yeah. And if if we were to like, we, let's keep it in the back of our head. If we want to try a, using a bulky Lele, let's try giving that one Ally Switch. Yeah. So if you want to change it up, we'll do that. So let's go taunt. So standard timid Lele. I like it. This Lele, this Pokemon is so strong. Timid Lele, it just can't get yeah, over how, how strong it is. So, um, damn, we have no spread moves. I just realized it's kind of it's kind of cool. Oh, I guess we have Rock Slide. Never mind. Oh yeah, Rock Slide. <laughs> that counts. That that absolutely counts. Uh, Aegis right, Slash. Step. Yeah. Oh wait, I think Aegis Slash. Maybe you want to run like 
bulkier. We don't. I don't know if you want to run oh, yeah. a, a modest nature still. Um, probably. Uh, we've talked about this a little bit that modest just ends up working better on each oh, session. Oh yeah, like numbers wise. So, ah, screw it. I'll just say it really quick. So. I know back in Bridger told me back in 2014 people would run a sassy Aegislash to survive. I think Specs Hydreigon, Dark Pulse. If that's if that's correct. Yep. Um. So people running sassy to do that. However, if you in, like they'd run sassy with like four special defensive EVs and max attack special attack. Uh, but, it was more than four, but. Oh, it was, was it? Yeah. yeah. But what I I remember when I do the math, it's like, um, sorry. When I do the math, when you if you go modest still. And then do like a, some into a special attack, and then enough into special defense to live the dark pulse. You actually get more like overall stat points. It's the same amount of EVs used, but it's like you get you get more special defense and blade form. It's insignificant, but it could you know be a difference. And you get actually two more points of special attack that way. So it yeah. is better. <laughs> yeah. Just long story short. Use modest age slash. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as far as what we need to survive, uh, speed is I. I don't know what uh, we want out speed in. I, tailwind. I don't think it needs any really. Like okay. I don't care too much about tailwind with it, and it's gonna outspeed everything in the swamp. Yeah. So that's fair. probably just like you know maybe four speed. The big thing to me um, is its special defense. I want to survive a Charizard's heat wave. Oh yeah, look that up. Uh, do you want to check something while you do that? So you said swamp makes it a quarter. Uh, yeah. Gosh, that's that drops that. No, that's. Yeah, I guess yeah, that makes it's, sense. It's stupid. That drops Metagross to like forty-four speed. <laughs> yeah, it's it's disgusting. Okay, we uh we don't need we don't need that. So heat wave and. Shield wow, this forward. takes a lot. Jeez. Okay, so in order to survive the heat wave, um, you have to have two hundred twenty special defense. Is that a timid Charizard? No, it's a modest Charizard. Check timid. They're usually not much stronger than a timid max. Like 252 timids usually as strong as they get. Like max, okay. max. I don't know. I don't. I don't think we see max modest very often. It's just look up timid. I, I'd be okay with that. Okay. Um, that's a lot more reasonable to survive that. Wow, this speaks to the, uh, the power of Charizard. Yeah, you only need 76. Perfect. 76? Yeah. Okay. So 76. Um, I mean, we could even bump up a little more if we really wanted to. I don't know how common Hydreigon is. They aren't usually special. No, I don't care about Hydreigon at all. Okay. Um, I'm just stomping tantrum doing to Aegislash from Metagross. Uh, let's see. It's, I mean, it's not killing it, but yeah. it's doing 51 to 61%. So it'd probably take a significant amount to make a three hit KO. Um, I mean, we are leftovers. Oh so... yeah, look up what what what's the with after one leftovers recovery? What's the percentage to two hit KO? Um, let's see. So it's gonna do. Well, I just type leftovers in right. Then it's a uh, ninety point six to two hit KO. Yeah. So keep um, like I... yeah, keep upping the defense a little bit and see what we can get. So, normally when I have leftovers, I like to factor in two procs of it. Oh, yeah. Because I can always just protect. Yeah. Um, so, in order to do that, I'm just going to add 20 HP to H. Let's we'll see, it gains 10 on leftovers. So, if I just give it 20 more HP, then that'll be like pretending it's had two turns of leftovers. Yeah. In that case, with two turns, then we survive Stomping Tantrum 45% of the time. It's a, or we, it's a 2 at KO 45% yeah. of the time. So we survive it 55. So we could go up to uh, 84 defense, and that would make it only a 5% to 2 at KO. Okay, what's 76? Uh, it's a 16%. Alright, yeah, we can do that. Go 84, just make this gives it you know, general bold. 
Yeah, I like that. 84, and then we can just dump the rest in special attack. Yeah, I like that. It doesn't need to be super offensive. Right. But in, but in blade form, it still does. It's still really strong. Oh, I want to make sure that that still one hit KOs Metagross. Oh, yeah, check that. My parent. Oh, what do we need to do that? Um, so that is a 50 50. We need. Oh, wow. You have to be literally max to guarantee the one hit kill. Yikes. What's it, what is it against 28 HP for special defense? Um, then, if you're max special attack, it's a 75% to kill. Uh, dang it. And that's, one, that's one of the things we need. H slash 4. I mean, do, we, don't need it to, we don't necessarily need it to Oko. Yeah, I mean, so back with uh, that spread, if we keep the defensive investment we have, then we put everything else we can into special attack. Yeah, 90, which is like 92 EVs. 92, yeah. Then we have only a 12.5% chance to kill that Metagross you were just talking about. Yeah. But against a 4 HP, then it's a 50-50. Okay. Honestly, I feel like I can live with that. I don't know about you. Yeah, I mean, I feel like since because we're surviving two stomping tantrums, then yeah. that becomes okay to me. And we have like Greninja out, and we just chip it, or if like we yeah. can chip it later, if we at least get chip damage, and like that little bit of chip's not hard to find, especially right. because Zapdos can take a hit, Cinderor can yeah. take a hit, Greninja can just outspeed it. Yeah, and like, and if we uh, if we throw out the grass and fire pledge, then that'll chip it. A bit. Yeah, and like, is there, if we have speed control, then we just we chip it and then shadow ball it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's I'm good. I like the bulk, but since it's gonna be a sub toxic set, like having bulk is gonna be really yeah. Valuable. I think it's worth it. Okay, so I'm good with that. Um, Zapdos, I'll go 236 HP just for that one, like because of the sandstorm damage. Oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it, sure. it, it dops at one point. It's like, whatever. Uh, so, two thirty. I know 236 HP, 84 special defense with the Psychic Seed boost survives t uh, Shattered Psyche from Modest Lele. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, let's right, do that. Cool. So, speed-wise... I, I want to outspeed Pelipper for sure. Oh, cool. Oh, but we, we do that naturally. Yeah. Okay. What's what's what's? See, Pelipper hits one seventeen. So it's I've one... actually seen a couple of timid. Yeah, Pelipers. I was gonna say I think we should hit timid just to be on the safe side, which is what one twenty nine. No, no, uh, one twenty eight. One twenty eight. So Hopefully. we need to hit one twenty nine. I'm good with that. So that's like the bare minimum. Yeah. Uh, I the one the main calc I know with Zapdos far as defense goes is 116 survives plus 6 aqua jet from Azumarill. Really? Yeah. It's a lot um, of investment though. Or we can just like I think something like 36 or 52 takes two rock slides from Adamant Landris. I think I like that more. Um I don't yeah. care much about Azumarill. Aegislash can already take it. Venusaur like destroys Azumarill. Yeah, he's just, yeah. And we have Tapu Lele too, yeah, so... Yeah, so we can always like preserve Zapdos. Because obviously it can Aqua Jet Zapdos still, but we'll have other ways to get around it. Right. It's like we need Zapdos to beat it. So exactly. I think it's 52, 236, like 236 and 52 that'll take it. Yeah, I can double check Yeah, double check that. I, I think it's something like that. And then it's like a 0.4% chance to 2 a KO, which that's adamant. And then it just gives us the ability to dump the rest into... Okay, so yeah, it's a 0.4 percent if we have 52. What's 44? Uh, it's still a 0.4 percent chance. All right, drop it to 36. Um, yeah, 36 is, is also that. It's, okay. it's not till 28 that you change it. Okay, so we so. can just do that and then dump the rest of the special attacks. That way, we're still doing pretty good damage. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. All right, cool. And then the last thing is the last move on Zapdos. Um, so I guess that's basically between Heat Wave and HP Ice, since we put Taunt on Lele, then I don't think we really yeah, need to. Yeah, and we have um, Subtoxic, and 
then knock off yeah. Zimmer. So I think between those three, we have a bunch of ways to help deal with Star right. Plus, we can flinch it to them. <laughs> we can. Yeah, and all, uh, if worse comes the, to worse, we get like a hundred or how many? How many do we? We get sixteen flinches in a row. That still won't be enough. <laughs> <laughs> that won't kill it. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so I think HP, Ice, or Heat Wave is what it comes down to. Yeah, um, I think since we went for a fast Lele that's going to be good against Landorus, then uh, I like Heat Wave more yeah. to deal with uh, Ferrothorn and Cortana. Yeah, that way we don't have like to rely on Incineroar as much. Or... And just yeah. the spread damage, and this, the spread damage is great, especially against the likes of like Metagross and Moongus. I don't yeah, expect definitely. him to bring a Moongus against us, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. It also deals with some of the other random steel types that might come across, so I'm I'm good with E Wave. Cool. Like I said, we can always change it up if we really want to run something like Drill Peck or you know, <laughs> Signal Beam for those Oh yeah. For those Malamar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the the best tech. Oh boy. Cool. Um yeah, I, I think I'm that good covers good. everything. So Sweet. Uh, ooh, Zapkin. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Skydrop's kind of cool. I think I, I can't remember who I did oh, that. I used, I used Skydrop Zapdos. Oh, it was against uh, Pickle Sword, Matthew Greaves, in our, that, that, like, that league thing oh, we did. Oh, the draft cup we I were used doing. Scarf, Skydrop, Zapdos against him. It actually, it actually was really big. <laughs> that really sounds cool. really cool. And Skydrop has good synergy with, uh, with Toxic and with Leaf Seed. Yeah, which is kind of cool. So, well... I think we'll consider that later. Like it, yeah. it, as we're playing it, for like you know, Sky Drop would be really cool here. So. <laughs> it's but, cool. Yeah, I remember I was using Sky Sky Drop, and then I, I it was really cool because I was able to pick something up, and then yeah, because I had the scarf is what made it really good. But right. But then I, I was locked into Sky Drop. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. So cool. All right, that's gonna cut it here. This went pretty long, but I'll put timestamps in this video for you guys so you can kind of jump around. If you really want um yeah but like i said this is just a cool insight on team building for you guys especially building some like more unique stuff that we won't see very much i mean there's a lot of common pokemon here but also some more fun stuff so all right yeah we'll do that so we'll get this team in game and then we will play some battles on battle spot with it like i said just kind of watch how we adjust the team as we go because i think there will be adjustments like yeah, any, definitely. Any any good team starts uh, this way and then gets adjusted. So sweet. Well, that's everything. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Bridger, thanks for doing this with me. And we will have him back for the battles as well. Because if I do, if I if I play with this team by myself, I'm gonna go 0 and 10. So. <laughs> so yeah. All Again, right. yeah, well, Bridger, thanks thanks for doing this. Yeah, I look forward to the battles. Yeah, me too. All right, guys, take it easy, and I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more of this and you have feedback, like you think this need to be shorter, um, shorter episodes, let me know. So, all right, guys, take care, and we will see.